How you doing? I'm fine, bro. <laughs> I'm good. Wow. Thanks for being here today. Um, and I don't think I'm wrong in saying you were probably the breakout star of last year. Um, did you see that coming? Was it something you deliberately walked to? Um, or did it, just, did it shock you how much of a reception you got? Uh, yes, it was shocking, actually. But that had always been the dream, you know. Um, had plans. You know, to take things slowly, but you know, it just happened. It just happened the way yeah. it happened, and I'm grateful, man. So you were in Port Harcourt? Yeah, I was in Port Harcourt. Born, bred? Born, bred. When did Lagos happen? I think Lagos happened... Oh... Uh, Lagos happened last year. Okay. Up until last year, yeah, you were in Port Harcourt? Up until last year, I was in Port Harcourt. And, um... Oh, no. Lagos happened a year before last year. So that 2019? 2019, yes. Okay. So yeah, I was in Lagos. Uh, 20, I got a deal, you know, after the release of my song, Hello Brother, I got a deal, Kikat. So I moved down to Lagos. I stayed for like um, six months, seven months, eight months, recording, just recording and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that was it. So were you intimidated? I mean, people always say that Lagos is where you're either made or, or broken. Yes, <laughs> you know? man. Um, were you so sure of your talent and what you had to offer? Or were you scared of, you know, when you got here and you saw the kind of... Uh, yeah, I was scared. I was actually scared um, when I wanted to put out my first project, Get Laid. I was scared. I was scared that it wasn't good enough. It wasn't, you know, it, it, it wasn't showing enough of me. I was actually going... It, it was five songs on the on the project it was supposed to be seven songs but you know so i was scared that it wasn't gonna show me off enough yeah yeah that was it but scared about or being intimidated by that nah so of course that you were surprised by how good people received yeah 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 yeah. i yeah. mean I, I i felt i felt the, the love was yeah. was massive i didn't expect it to happen it happened really fast man so you dropped the song the 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 ep COVID-19 happens, there's a lockdown, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like, these people will not let me enjoy my, <laughs> my shine small. How did you handle that? You know, being in a lockdown, being at home, but you're blowing up. Man. And you couldn't do anything with it. You know, the, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, I was supposed to put out a project by January, February, I think, yeah, February. Yeah. But the whole lockdown thing happened, so I gave it some time. I decided to stay low until maybe after the whole thing is yeah. so, was sorted out. But, you know, it kept going on from February, March. <laughs> April. I'm like, yo, I, ca I can't do that. <laughs> so by May 22nd, I decided that I was, I was going in for it. Yeah, I, I, I put it out. And, you know, at, the t at that time, I, I think a lot of, um, a lot of uh, um, songs were not popping at the time. Like a lot of... Um, projects were almost literally going missing because everybody was just talking about coronavirus and yeah. stuff. But you know, but I you still found a way. I did what I did, and you know. <laughs> and then you dropped the second EP. How did you drop two EPs back to back? Man, actually, I'm, I'm just the type of guy that makes music and puts it out. I'm not so much of the technical guy. That was why I could put out a project during yeah. the lockdown. I'm not so much of the calculation went to business yeah. and all that. Like, why not just, you could have put these two pieces together and given us one album. <laughs> nah, I mean, whenever, whatever, whenever anything is ready, man, I just put it out, bro. Yeah. No time to con the <laughs> juicy, nah. <laughs> How's Port Harcourt these days? Hey, it's been a while, though. Yeah. It's been a while. Do, do, you, do you miss it? Do you feel I like miss you betrayed my, the man. love? No, 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 no. I miss my city and they know, say I miss them, man. Yeah. I miss my city so much. And um, I'm hoping to go go back like real soon like go visit you know see my people you know see my my, my mom it's been a long time since i saw her she's back in port Harcourt, so she yeah. must be super excited I yeah miss, i miss i miss my boy i miss my boy and fish bro <laughs> <laughs> What about Burner Boy? There's, there's, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, Port Harcourt Boys. There was some people trying to whip up some conspiracy theories even a few months ago. Oh, for about real? About tweets doing what and whatnot. Um, how you, how's the relationship with him? I know you guys met up recently. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I met him in Ghana. Okay, in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. Burner is my brother, you know. Yeah. He's my brother. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's been a long time since anybody from Port I mean, it's been, it was, it has always been just Bonner. So, I mean, he was, he was so happy to see me come up from the same city and stuff. And, and I've always had love for him because he, he, he's literally like 
the, the people that we listen to in Portacot, he yeah. is the person that we listen to in Portacot. Before this whole thing happened, it was Burner that, when you're talking about Portacot, it used to be like Dr. Mighty and Burner. Those are the only people we listen to while growing up. So meeting him and him loving me that much, and yeah. man, it was, man, it, it's something <laughs> I can't even explain. Bro. Amazing stuff. You also get compared to Whiskey quite a bit. Sorry? You also get compared to Whiskey quite a bit. Do you? Do I? So when you hear people talk about, you know, Burner Boy or Whiskey in conversations about you or the next David or whatever, the next whatever it is, do those kind of things intimidate you or do they make you feel like, yeah, I'm on the right path? You know, f first of all, I'm not so much of the guy who reads the, the <laughs> who reads what's going up, going on on social media and stuff. Who's saying what about yeah, you? Yeah, who's saying what about me? But you know, I am Omali, you know. Yeah. I'm nobody else apart from Omali. So if I'm so going to be good. anybody, man, I'm, I'm, I can't say what, what, what I don't have. Like what I have is Omali. So that's what I yeah. am definitely offering. So yeah, that's it though. So been to Portugal, been to Lagos, been to Ghana. We of course, have to talk about Uganda, which was such a crazy time for a lot of us here. Man. So I can't, even, I can't even begin to think of what it was for you. Um, there are a lot of people who have blamed you saying, there was a pandemic. You should have known not to travel, you know, to go to a concert at a time like this. So tell us about, you know, what led you to even be there in the first place and how all of this ended up being what it became. Uh, you know, you guys, such a, it was such an experience, you know. Um, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot that happened. We actually, I went to Uganda for an event, yeah. you know. Did brand. you get clearance for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, okay. we went we went legally, completely legal. And um no, we stopped, it happened the way it happened. Yeah. I, I really cannot start picking out details, but it, there was supposed to be like COVID clearance. Everything like, you know, was sorted out yeah. before we got there. As a matter of fact, uh, I was the police were present and everything and we did the whole thing and yeah but you know it has happened it is it happened the way it happened i learned it's something that i learned a lot from and i moved past it already so mm. yeah so you've learned so what did you learn from it all uh, right i mean details of uganda is, is in my album <laughs> i'm i'm trying to i'm trying not to talk about it so much i'm channeling the energy to making music with it the whole experience yeah. and how it all happened so yeah my album is yeah. coming up i mean a lot of us were saying <laughs> thames and my lady our next singles or albums are gonna be crazy <laughs> but i mean at the time it wasn't particularly funny to watch you know because we were not sure what's going on mm. uganda is not particularly the most the best rated country when it comes to human rights. So people were not sure how this was going to end. Um, so just, uh, that's what I want to know, you're talking about lessons and all of that, you know, and what people perceived about you being there and why you went even in the first place. Um, with the police holding on to you guys, how were you treated? You know, were there things that happened there that, you know, I know, you're, like you say, you're saving them for, for, the, for, this, <laughs> for your songs or for your album. But just wondering what the, being there and being in police custody was like i said it was it was such an experience i cannot best describe i'm not I, i'm not so much of the talk guy yeah i cannot i cannot describe it best here i mean but maybe when you listen to the songs when i'm talking about the experience maybe you would yeah. feel it better um but it was an experience that i learned i knew that a lot of things changed i i, I felt different after the whole incident and i learned a lot of things and yeah. I think it's just best you guys listen to the songs when it's out. So you Do you know. regret going to Uganda? No, 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 no. I don't regret going to Uganda. I mean, I saw, like, the, the night with my, with my Ugandan fans, it was perfect. It was a perfect night, yeah. definitely. I mean, you know, I would want to go back to see those people. It was a lot of energy, love. It was an amazing moment. Yeah. Looking back now, I mean, yes, you got clearance, but uh, thinking about the fact that this COVID as a pandemic, do you think it was probably not a good idea to perform that? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe if I had known that it was going to turn that way, yeah. I would have just stayed back. Yeah, but, you know... I, and this I was your first know. international yeah, show? Yeah, this was my first international show. I didn't know that that was it, yeah. you know. I, everything was looking good from the start, but it seemed like there was some kind of miscommunication with this yeah. and that. And when is this single album dropping? Uh, this year, I don't <laughs> have a date. <laughs> we need to hear this, hear the stories very soon. Yeah, this year, this year, I don't have a date, but definitely before this year is over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you and Thames become 
closer after this? Oh, Thames, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, we spent a lot of time together in Uganda, so you know, we spoke about a lot of things. So. I mean, there's, there's more like a uh, relationship between me and her now yeah. than, than before, yeah. You guys are not friends before? No, uh, nah, we were not friends before. Yeah. The whole Uganda thing brought us together. Are you guys going to be doing a collaboration? Pretty soon, maybe. I said it may be there. <laughs> Is it more than a relationship? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Man. It's a fair question to ask, <laughs> is it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. She's my friend, though. She's my friend. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about you know. I mean, glad, thank God you're back from all of this, and you guys came back safely and um, and uh, in one piece, mm -hmm. you know. So, but we're going to talk about the music scene now. You know, we've talked about the Burner Boys and, and all of that. Um, but there's a new sort of set of people. The Omalis, the Ramas, you know, Fireboy, Joe Boy, Chiki, these are all guys who are suddenly just taking the scene by storm. Do you see these people? Or what do you think about them and the scene, the new guard of the Nigerian music industry? Um, you know, I just, I feel blessed being, um, and I, I, I hope every other person feels the same way. It's a blessing actually to be part of the new guys to the new guys who are trying to sell African music to the world. Like, yeah. you know, it, it, there is actually like a group of legendary guys who have been doing it for years. So it's a blessing to be one of the new people to join the crew of the people who sells African music to the world. Yeah. But it's a blessing to me. And I feel like we're doing really good. We are. Who's your favorite? My favorite artist. Yeah, of this new guard. Oh, bro. Uh, <laughs> man, I think it's Omali. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's Omali. Yeah. I don't have like a favorite. I listen to everybody. I'm I'm a music producer, so okay. I listen to almost. Do you everything. produce your own stuff? Yeah, a lot of my stuff. Not a lot though. Recently, not a lot. Do you produce for other people? No, I don't. Why not? Uh, I think my music is just personal. Man. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call your genre of music? Is it R and B? Is it Afro? It, what, what is it? See, uh, that is like, that's literally putting me in a box, and that's what I don't like. You know, so, sometimes I do, at the end, what we Africans, what we Nigerians export is Afro pop, Afro beat, Afro fusion. You know, it's Afro at the end of everything. Yeah, but, you know, I don't like to just, you know, put a small box behind my. I think music is really priceless and really big to so just put in a little box, box and say, it's ironic. But it's also good yes. to have yourself, give yourself an identity and you're probably... Yes, I mean, everybody, everybody could... I, I know you're asking the question now because you, you don't know what to call my type of music, right? Yeah, I mean, definitely you're asking me that question because you don't know. So it's it's best we just, everybody pick pick what they want it for, what they want to listen to it for. Yeah. Because if you say R&B, I think you just put me in... R&B, whereas people are enjoying it as dance hall and stuff. So yeah. I just don't like to put like, so you just take it for whatever you want to take yeah. it for. Listen to it, enjoy it the way you want to. What's the ultimate goal for Omale? Like, what do you want to, what's the plan, you okay. know, for this Omale guy, you know, for the music, for like, the like, like I said, I don't like to put boxes or limits to, I could say, oh, the plan is to become the, the biggest artist in the world. But then I become the biggest artist in the world and it's not even enough anymore. So there's no <laughs> need, bro. There's no need to put a limit. So, yeah, man, just run with it, man. I enjoy making music. I enjoy see people happy, smile, listen to my song, dance and... So, man, I just keep doing that yeah. and it takes me to wherever he wants to. So, do you, are you... Are there plans to ever drop an album? Because you say you just dropped yeah, things. Yeah, I, I, like. I said an album this year, definitely. Because <laughs> I don't know, it might not be an EP in February. No, 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 like, no. <laughs> Take these four songs again. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. An, um, so you're dropping an album this yeah, year? Yeah, I'm dropping an album Definitely this year. an album, but you don't know when this year. Yeah, I don't know when this year, but definitely I'm dropping an album this year. Nice. Looking forward to that. Um, there's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, because when you start off your career with such amazing songs or, you know, the kind of EP that you started off with, there's some sort of pressure from people to say, okay, you, you, the bar is now so high that you can never drop it. Or do you feel that pressure? No. It, so, sometimes I feel like, no, I've always been that guy who criticizes my own music a lot. But I, I don't feel all that pressure. I just, 
you know keep doing what I have to do definitely I'm, I'm, I'm moving from point A to point B the, uh, the, I'm still the same on my lead but the me before isn't the me the, the people the person that the people see before isn't yeah. the person that I mean a lot of things have changed in my life and my music is basically like my life so it's my music is definitely gonna keep changing as as much as I'm changing I don't know if you get me so yeah I mean if I move from point A to point B, I have to make music that comes from point B. It's all about what is happening right Just now. To yeah, exactly. Times. Yeah, so that's it. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's a very smart thing to do for sure. Before you get, got into the industry, who did you who did you see as you know the guy that you liked or wanted to be like or looked up to in the industry? Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, one person. A couple of people. One person. Yeah, 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 yeah. One person that I've always uh, inspired me uh, had been Drake. Okay. Drake had always inspired me, but then you know, I I listened to Olamide. You know, I listened to Files. I listened to Wiz, Burner. Like I said, Davido. These guys are like big inspirations to you know. Yeah. yeah. Any of them you're going to be collaborating with? I, I I think I already got a collaboration with Alami Day. Yes. Yeah, and I have. Talking about your album. Is yeah, what you're yeah. I got okay. We, in my album, I don't know yet. My music. It's just. It depends on how it flows. You know. Yeah. I, I might be making a song tomorrow, and it feels like Files is the best person on the song, and I just maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about women? Do you get a lot of attention? Does it? And um, I mean, I think that's even a, not a very smart question to ask. Because definitely, you get a lot of attention. How do you handle the attention? Is probably the question I should be asking. Ah uh, man, because <laughs> it, it, it's, it's definitely there. Yeah, you, yes, the kind of songs it, it's you sing appeal to a certain kind of demographic. Yeah, you have to admit. So there's definitely that, and there's DMs being sliding to. It's easier to yeah, try bro, to reach. Yeah, yeah, these definitely, days. definitely. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, I enjoy the love. I enjoy everything. Yeah, the, because the, you can see the, the guys, now, the yeah. guys, the the ladies, everybody <laughs> that been supporting me, that been showing me love. I mean, I'm enjoying the attention and everything. So, I mean, so are you single? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm single, man. Single for life. For life. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm single, man. I'm single. I'm single. Yeah. No plans to get in a relationship. No, 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 no. No plans yet. No plans. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Looking forward to the album this year. Mm -hmm. I wish you gave us a month to, so that we can hold on to you. I'm going to bring it back in December <laughs> when the year is over. Hopefully no. it comes out soon enough. But thanks a lot for being here today. Wishing you all the best. All right. and hopefully you gave us the remaining Uganda gist. Yeah, yeah, there. definitely I mean, in the thanks. album. We're very thankful that you got back and thank got back Thank you very safely. much. Thank you guys for having me, terms, man. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thanks for being here. All right, thanks. We'll take a break now and be right back. Please don't go away. <laughs>